Well, if you forgot to set your alarm for three o'clock in the morning, low pressure number two has done all that for you. I say number two because our first low pressure system has gone over towards northwest Quebec, and our second low that is moving northeasterly across the Great Lakes at 70 kilometers an hour, which is following the jet stream's path, is coming and going just like that, but has enough energy in it to produce two hours worth of thunderstorm activity with torrential downpours and an incredible lightning display. With this cold front that we talked about last night, stretching the cloud cover from Minnesota, Illinois, Michigan, following the 401 between Ottawa, sorry, between Windsor, London, Toronto, northwest of Ottawa, back up towards Hudson Bay, and just east of Lake Superior, Thunder Bay, Geraldton region. By three o'clock this morning, the storm cloud tops, despite the cloud cover looking purple and white, which almost looks like a hurricane on land, 38,000 feet. The only criteria that we missed out on was the extremely strong winds. They came out of the northwest for Capus Casey at about 40 kilometers an hour. And that's really about it. We missed out on everything else. Here's a timeline of your weather system. It's right over Thunder Bay, Ontario by 9 o'clock last night. A lot of space between low pressure number one that missed us yesterday and low pressure number two. By midnight, this low is moving so fast, it's already right over Sault Ste. Marie, the Timmins area. Again, there's a cloud cover, white and purple, which means a lot of energy right in the middle of the slow pressure system. And at 3 o'clock this morning, the low is pretty much right over northeast Ontario. A lot of energy surrounding the low. The tail end of it right over the state of Wisconsin, which is just um, west of the Great Lakes. The radar picture, unfortunately, the Moonbeams radar station was out of service by 4 o'clock in the morning. Extensive rainfall all over northern Ontario. In fact, the Sault Ste. Marie, Sudbury, and North Bay airports reported thunderstorms at the same time as Tim is in Capus Gasing. And Capus Gasing did report visibility reduced to 5 eighths of a mile with heavy torrential downpours. It's those, one of those downpours where you can't even see your hand in front of your face for about a good hour or so. One observation is that our barometric pressure dipped down to about just close to 100 kilopascals. Major temperature swing. You'll notice with the information pages that between Timmins, 22 degrees last night, and eight degrees up towards Hearst. That's how powerful this cold front is, and that's how fast your temperatures are cooling down. We have the two hour radar loop, the 12 hour satellite imagery, and a lot of other details following the information pages next.